All right, morning all, Saturday morning, sun shining, and we're off to Brighton Ferry. What are we up to today then, Jack? Going on the boat. Permission to come aboard? No, permission denied for being cheeky and lippy. Right, so here we are again at Brighton Ferry. It's a beautiful morning, it really is. A few clouds in the sky and I think it's only going to get hotter and hotter. Um, we're just going to have a, another bimble. I'm going to just carry on practicing my um, boating skills, try to improve a little bit on what I did last week. Um, me and Jack staying here overnight. We're going to sleep in the boat for the first time. And hopefully we're going to do a bit of magnet fishing, aren't we, as well, uh, somewhere. So yeah, going to be a full-on day, full-on night. And by the end of it, I think we'll both be knackered and ready for a good night's sleep. So let's see how we get on. Right, so we're having a chug um, into the flow on the Derwent. So far, so good. Managed to get past all the boats without crashing into any. Feeling a little bit more confident, actually, than, than I have been. I'm not so panicky. You know, um, and all this is really leading up to getting out on the uh, on the tidal ooze because my first adventure is going to be up to York and spend the night in York. So that's what I plan on doing. Um, but before I tackle that, I'm currently doing the VHF um, ships radio to get my license. Um, well, I've actually got my license from Ofcom. That's free. You can just apply online and you get that. But I'm doing the portable, um, you know, I'm just going to buy a portable handset which allows me to use, should I want to use it on my um, kayak as well as on, on this on this boat. And if I go on anybody else's kayak or anybody else's boat, I can use my, uh, my portable radio. So I'm currently um, studying for that exam. I have to say it's pretty dull. Um, it takes a lot of discipline to have to sit there and try to absorb the information. It's all done online, but I do have to, um, once I've gone through the syllabus, I then have to attend an assessment centre, which for me is probably going to be Grimsby, run by the Royal Yachting Association, and sit the, uh, sit the exam. And if I pass that, I think I'll pay me 60, 70 quid, and I've got the licence and I can use it. You know, I, I won't even consider um, a journey to York until I've, uh, you know, I've, um, I passed that exam and got my, my, my radio. Um, There he is. Right, steer to port side, which is to the left. Just a little bit, that's it, not a lot. Just try to keep it as you are. Right, so we're drifting a little bit port side, haven't we? So what we've got to do, that's it. As soon as it starts turning, remember this is the centre. This bit here, so that is centre. That's it. We're drifting over that way. That's it. Wait for the boat to come round. Well, arguably, he's doing better than I did first time. about these little uh, Shetland 535s and bearing in mind I'm, I'm, I, I have not a lot of experience with boats, hardly any, but they're quite a popular uh, little boat, an ideal first time boat I think, because uh, they're 
so easy to trailer and you can use you know slipways to get them in and out of the water quite simply um, quite fuel efficient actually that that four stroke engine i've got 15 horsepower it's really fuel efficient no smell of fumes or anything like that it's reasonably quiet as well you know you can have a, a conversation without having to shout bear in mind it's only pretty much directly behind you so I can't really fault this this little boat um, to be fair it feels really stable you know you can rock it around and yeah, I've not been out on the sea with it yet and it's some decent waves but it feels really really stable um, so you know, I'm quite happy with it you know my steering has improved considerably, considerably today um, I feel far more confident than I have done um, to be fair there's not the same kind of tow on the on the river than, than, than there has been so it's a little bit easier but it's quite windy today um, and these fiberglass boats do catch the wind um, but yeah so far so good I feel more relaxed today I'm enjoying <laughs> better than I have been let's put it that way so on the way back we're just going to uh, go for another half a mile or so and then we're going to pull over do a bit of magnet fishing and then we're going to head back and I'm going to practice some um, some turns in reverse and forward and try to get to uh, grips with that and get a bit more confident with that so all good fun that looks like the Loch Ness Monster to me What to find? A pair of old scissors. How good is that? Wow. Right, let's see what we can get. <laughs> that wasn't bad, first chuck. <laughs> pair of scissors. Nothing. What that do? I want to try it. Oh, wow, that one went far. Oh, what's that? Uh, Screw, I think. No bolt. <laughs> and it's just the magnet again. Why do you keep getting the magnet? Well, because there ain't no metal there, we haven't found any metal yet. Right, let it sink, let it sink. Right, go on now, you can start retrieving. Oh, got, a, got a bit of mud on that one. Right, let it sink, let it sink. Oh, what's oh, that? Tin. Tin can. What we got there? Oh, two nails. Two nails, all right, get them off then if you can. Yeah, so magnet fishing didn't go too bad. We didn't um, catch any decent treasure. Uh, a couple of nails, a rusty old uh, tin of some sort, um, chisel, and a few bolts. Anyway, we're just on our, on our way back to uh, Brighton Ferry. I seem to have a lot more control today on this remote. never really had before it's either been one thing or the other too many revs or not enough so I seem to get the, the hang of that as well and the good thing about this boat is don't really get bothered by swans like, like I do in my kayak um, this time of year it's treacherous isn't it for swans so that's one good thing about having a little boat swans tend to leave you alone right uh, dinner time Right, well the first two burgers were cremated, come as no surprise, so I'm going to try again. I messed up mine. I thought I was actually turning the gas down. But uh, 
I was actually turning it up. One good cheeseburger, that. Make it. Right, so Sinbad there is uh, still magnet fishing. Seems to be obsessed by it. There's some of his finds down there. I'll show you that in a more detail in a bit. All, all rubbish, of course. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. What we got, what we got. What's that? A bottle lid. Wow. Add that to the rest of the junk. Well done. Let's go and take a closer look. It's been proper hot today. I've had shorts on and my legs are bloody burnt. I'm going to suffer tonight. Melting, it still is. It's uh, five past six and absolutely roasting still. Oh, let's get out of this rickety gang plank. Let me show you this. I'm risking my neck on this. I'm gonna make my own one. Let's have a look here. here we go. All right, so here's the rubbish that he's managed to get. This here, this caulking gun, um, he's going to take that home, clean it up and sell it, he said, because it's worth quite a bit of money. I mean, to be fair, in its day it was probably a good one, but uh, I have told him it's worth bugger all, but you not have it. So he's taking that home and he's selling that. The mind boggles. Here's bed for the evening, not exactly the Ritz but it's, uh, it'll be warm and dry. There's Jack's little compartment there, sleeping bag, a few pillars. And there's mine, not sure I'm gonna be in that heavy duty sleeping bag this evening. But it's there just in case it does turn cold. Well, it's been a, it's been a long day. Jack's still off magnet fishing. I've just told him to wind it up and um, just got all the bedding ready as you could see packed everything away, tied it up, and now I think it's beer o'clock. <laughs> so I'm going to have a few beers and watch the sun go down and uh, chill out for the rest of the evening. So I shall see you all in the morning. Have a good night. <coughs> Alright folks, so I've been woken up to another glorious day. The sun is belting down already. And uh, we've, uh, what is the time? It's half past eight. I've been up about an hour and a half just mooching around. Jack's just got up and we've just been to the uh, shower block and had a wash and um, do some bacon rolls, shall we? Yeah. Or, or don't you want any? Of course I want bacon. Yeah, of course he wants some. Right, so let's get the old uh, pan on the go. Again. Yeah. But quite cold. Cold, you're joking, aren't you? No. Who? Vinny. Vinny, come on. Yeah. You're lovely. It used to be a lot smaller, it used to be about that big. That's 
He's rooting around like a pig, and he making that noise like pigs do. No, when they're after food. He sometimes does a backward cough, and he does like he goes. So if you rub his throat, it stops it. Just a quick update. Um, we had breakfast and finished breakfast. I had to clear up, got everything sorted, ready for a bimble up to all's Barnaby Barrage. Um, come over not feeling very well I don't know whether I've got a bit of uh, sunstroke um, it's been incredibly hot and we've had a little shade um, so I decided to sort of pack up tidy up and and come home and, um, and I've just just got back I feel a little bit better actually I feel that you know sort of my steering of the boat's a lot more controlled I feel my, my sort of docking parking the boat up is a lot more controlled I think I've I dare say, loosely say, I've, I've sussed it to some extent. Um, and undoing the mooring ropes and setting off, kind of use the flow of the river, I've learnt to, to help me. When I've had a few boats that I've, I've met kind of head on, and um, you know, I've not panicked. Um, I think what I, what I have done is, when I've let a boat go, I've not been afraid to just sort of reverse a little bit, straighten myself up before setting off. Um, and I'm sure the more experienced wouldn't have to do that, but for me it's really, really helped. You know, I'm still very much a beginner, still very much learning. Um, and like I keep saying, it isn't that easy. It's easy for those that know how to do it and it's second nature to them, but for someone like me, not that easy. But anyway, I'm going to try to find um, an hour or two during the week to, to, uh, to get over and have another little bimble. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button and bell button so you're notified of any other videos. Finally, I just want to say a thank you to all new subscribers. I think I've had a few new ones due to the fact that... Uh, um, it's more sort of boating rather than kayaking and wanted to give me some really good tips and share you know their um, initial experience of, uh, of um, trying to control the boat so that's really helped actually so I appreciate that so until the next time safe and happy boating